You don't seem to want to accept the fact that you're dealing with an expert. Do I smile? Do I sing? Do I look mean? Or what do I do? Do I jump? Do I run? Do I hop? If I smile, at least you won't know I'm scared, huh? Daryl Green for the Redskins always takes the toughest receiver. So then away from where Daryl Green plays, then they can run their double. So that's the problem that you have passing. If you pass to Daryl Green, you're passing against one of the best defenders in the league. And if you throw away from him like they did that time, you're throwing into some form of double cover. It helps to have that reputation. And what I call be prepared for that right now moment. Okay, son, uh, what's your name? Uh, uh, Green, okay, you're up right now. And in that right now moment, you need to be ready to perform. That's all right. I'm going to check his legs out and see what he got in his legs because uh, he moves a little too fast for football. 2-2-0, two, two, oh, buddy. Make you run fast. 30 yards, he starts to accelerate. And it's that long, smooth, fluid stride that powers Daryl Green to victory. Daryl Green is the fastest man in the NFL. My defensive coordinator always said, hey, stay on your feet. He wanted <laughs> me to stay on my feet. Being able to take the top receiver on your team and saying to the other 10 guys, you guys play over there and I can take this one guy by myself without any help and shut him down. Me against you, and that's when I think I'm the best. From the opening week right through the postseason, no unit in football played more consistently than the men of Washington's national defense. There goes Kelly, sets up at the five, throwing deep, got a man there, it's picked off by Daryl Green with a leaping catch at the 47, first and 10 Washington. He's got too much experience for that kind of pass against the Redskins. Rice moves in motion, Montana goes back to throw it, out to right, picked off by Daryl Green. And Daryl Green has been all day on Jerry Rice. They always put Daryl Green, one of the best corners in the league, man-to-man -man on the toughest receiver. Here he covers him perfectly, gets the jump and the ball. Montana was watching him all the way, thought that Rice had him, but Green, one of the fastest guys in the National Football League, made up a couple steps. That's the kind of thing that the Redskins needed. Redskins showing an all-out rush. Elway. Try to get it outside to Vance Johnson. Daryl Green out there on the coverage. On the 21-yard line. Donald. Tries to go to Lips. And Daryl Green was right on him. No flag down. And it'll bring up second down. And Green right tight on the receiver. O'Donnell looking to throw. And his pass is caught by Lips. And given a shot by Daryl Green out of bounds. Play action, Montana. It just is. No. Nope. Tony this Green. Time, good defense by Daryl Green against Earl Cooper. Duke Cooper. That's the former running back OJ spoke of a moment ago. That's right. Good move by Daryl Green. He almost came up with the interception. There's Daryl Green, Pat. I'll guarantee you he's looking for number 88. Aikman retreats. Pump fake. Goes deep for Irving. And it's broken up by Daryl Green. All pro Daryl Green. Now Green only goes 5'8", but he plays about 6'8". Big game against Detroit. Really set the tone there. His, here he is working against Irvin. Good position on the outside. He has that unbelievable speed. He lets Irvin get by him just a little bit, knowing full well that he can recover. Put that in the training manual. Oh, that's beautiful. That's how you play cornerback. Two interceptions last week against Detroit, his 25th and 26th. And from the 49 of the Redskins, Tim stand, standing strong in the pocket, tipped in the air and incomplete, intended for Johnson, and a good defensive play by little Daryl Green, number 28, who got high in the air and knocked that one down, and Sim shaking his head, I think, in admiration. Redskins showing blitz, they come with it. Good pickup, single coverage, and a great effort, great defensive effort. Daryl Green back there defensively. 
That was a wonderful defensive effort. The timing on this safety blitz was way off, so Danny had plenty of time to throw the ball. He underthrew it a little bit, enabling Dean to make the block, or Green, excuse me. It was a great effort. Tony Hill had turned Daryl Green completely around. Single coverage, it should have been six and would have been against most defenders. Daryl causes a lot more mental anguish than physical damage. throws incomplete and they still can't get the rookie wideouts involved as Daryl Green steps right in front of Fred Barnett and knocks the ball incomplete. So Randall Cunningham forced to watch as Jim McMahon replaces him could see Daryl Green getting in front of Barnett. Cunningham from the shotgun will throw incomplete and Green did it again. Well, he's Green is shutting in. out Fred Barnett. He's all over him. You know, I asked Green about Barnett, and he says, you know, Coach, I didn't gain the status and credibility I have as a corner by not respecting the people I play. I respect him. He's a fine young receiver, but I have a book on him. He said, I have a book on him. He demonstrates he was reading the right page that time. That's the Redskins, 27, and Rutledge goes to throw on first down. Going for Gray. Deflected by Byron Williams, and what a good play. Pete throwing to green side. Oh, Darrell almost makes the pick. He's looking for a place to get open. Now watch him work back. He's working back to the zone. He's looking. Hey, here I am throwing the ball. <laughs> good effort, good defense. Give the skin credit. Montana's in a hurry. He might have somebody. Had Rice for a moment. No penalty. Darrell Green running with him. Rice is over in the sideline. He's arguing that there should have been a penalty. That is darn near automatic. When they see Blitz, Montana's going to look for Rice. Rice is saying that Daryl Green interfered with him. I think that's pretty good coverage. Now, you don't know where that right hand is. The only argument he has is maybe the right hand was on him. See, the right hand is up underneath. He comes over with the left arm. See, he holds, he holds Rice's left hand and then with his left hand knocks the ball down. Well hidden. I like that. And incomplete as Jackson gets blanketed on the play. Mark Jackson covered by Darrell Green. Starting there 20 years ago, I coached with Rod. There's experience. Omax going for Green. Bump maybe in the end zone and no flag is Darrell Green, number 28. Right. Well, that was Darrell Green right there with Roy Green on that play. And we knew that the Cardinals were going to come out and they were going to try and go to Roy Green deep early. They said, you have to do that. You have to stretch him out, get him playing the whole field. I'll tell you, Daryl Green was running stride for stride with Roy Green. Green on the outside is going to be one-on-one -on -one all afternoon on Jeffrey. Now take a look at it. When they come out, Daryl Green will be covering Jeffries all by himself. Third and four with five down line is really tall. Makes the play, and Darrell Green brings him down. It's a very important measurement, and they're short of a first down by about a yard or more. Boy, what a good open field tackle by Darrell Green. Here's Roger Craig again. Cut down by Darrell Green. Defensive backs, Pat, we're only going to have one cornerback, and that's Darrell Green of the Washington Redskins. He's so fast, he can cover any receivers they have. Watch him here on Willie Galt, going stride for stride. Then he gets Anthony Carter. Carter has him by a couple steps. Daryl Green catches up and knocks the ball down. He's also going to be our punt returner. Watch his return up the sideline. Madden is a tough guy, and he's saying that I'm a tough guy, and I'm not supposed to be a tough guy at a 100-pound guy, you know, under uh, 5 feet 8 and not big enough to play. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Thanks, Madden. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome, Green. Intended for Manuel. Going up with him was Daryl Green. Number 28, Manuel is the rookie who caught the touchdown pass against Dallas last week. Second and three. Play action, rolling right. Going deep. Going to Anthony Hancock. It is incomplete. Daryl Green was there for the Redskins. Here's a look. So it dropped. Joe throwing the slant. Intended for Bert Emanuel. And who was there? Daryl Green. And watch the coverage on Daryl Green. Full press, bump and run. Nobody knows his age. 
Here they are, full press, bump and run. And you said it earlier, wherever Birdie Mania goes, that's where Daryl Green's going to go. Nice job of pushing him and shove. Rice and Clark are the wide receivers. They take the Tyler. They're going for Rice again. Daryl Green running step for step with him. Hey, Daryl Green and Rice going down that sideline. You know, even though the touchdown didn't count before, that was Rice on Daryl Green, that one. Daryl Green took the bite, and Rice got the touchdown. Watch Daryl Green here. Rice goes to the outside. Watch him start to make. You see that right hand in there? He got the right hand, pushed him up. Then he got the right shoulder in front to cut him off. wonder if they might come at him again this time with a fresh man. Kings have a lot of folks ready to rush. Incomplete intended for Lonzel Hill. There's an excited Daryl Green. We asked Daryl Green yesterday who he was going to cover, and he said, I'm going to cover number 87. Of course, that's Lonzel Hill. I don't know if Green knew his name or not. Bellway back in his own end zone. Going deep. Intended for Mark Jackson. That was Daryl Green back there with him and right with him. I'll tell you, those are two of the fastest guys in the NFL. You know that Mark Jackson probably has more speed than anyone on the Bronco team, and of course, Daryl Green was in a race in the offseason, and he was the fastest guy in football. Wrong again. Danny White trying to get it to Renfro. And again, good coverage by Daryl Green, who has been excellent tonight. Marino to the sideline. Cooper had a shot at it on the deflection by Green. Green, Green had the first shot at the ball. Now Marino stepping up, but watch Green. Here he is on Duper 85. Look at this coverage. He knows he's he's got help deep. Look at this. Backs right back in, and he's in position to make the play. Duper almost makes a super catch, but Green had the first shot at the ball. Back to throw. Side foot throw. Anthony Carter tackled down by Darrell Green. Rutley has batted away at the last second intended for Ernest Gray, and again it was Darrell Green. We better stay away from that guy. That is going to be a great matchup all day. Daryl Green is going to take Anthony Carter all over the field, wherever he goes. Skin defense has probably figured out by now that in first down, the Giants are going to pass. Here's Gray. We'll see Green come into the picture. See, he makes a cut, sees the ball. I'll tell you, he can make up more space. You know, we said they played just three weeks ago. In that game, Carter only caught two passes. Of course, that last week, 227 yards for playoff record. Redskins and the Falcons, playoff game number one. Eager to avenge their regular season thrashing, the funky and frisky Atlanta Falcons strutted into RFK. But the steady downpour rained all over their rap party. The Falcons' dance floor melted into mud, and the sure-footed and sure-handed Redskins pounced on every Atlanta mistake. Campbell, deep right side, man coverage incomplete. Good coverage, good coverage. That impossible to cl complete that one. Daryl Green right on him, shoulder to shoulder. Lutie, wide open is goal. Ball. Close to first down yardage at the 24 is tackled by Daryl Green. And those are two people that we're going to see together all afternoon. Willie Galt and Daryl Green. What the Bears do here is they start Galt out of the backfield. That's to make it more difficult for Daryl Green to catch up to him. Green's late getting there, but he makes a fine open field tackle. This second down and 20. Cunningham steps away from the pressure again. Goes to the end zone. Well, I'll tell you, Randall could have run that time for uh, a long way. He didn't have to for a first down. It was 20 yards to go. He had 20 Barnett yards to go. The wide receiver. Yeah. There's Barnett, top left side of your screen. Green covering him outside. They're just running down the sideline. Third, three times the fastest man in the NFL. Barnett got a step on him. He's going to jump, jump, jump. Woo, those plays are always close. Look at that left, that left foot. He saw that thing. He gets a jump in the ball, boom, right in there to me. He's going up, he runs stride for stride with him. Right, don't look back, there he looks, he 
he sees the ball, boom, he gets that right hand up there. Green is lined up on the on the left side. He gets a shot coming off the line of scrimmage by Daryl Green. Stops and tries to go back to the outside. Gets another shot going outside. He looks for the ball. Has no chance whatsoever to make the play. Vernon Dean is also there to help. And it's nearly intercepted by Daryl Green. Philip Epps was the intended receiver, and that's been Green's assignment all day. Just shadow Philip Epps, and basically he's done a good job. Oh, he's done an outstanding job. And if Green makes this catch, we may have a seven-point lead by the Redskins. And they go with four wide receiver. No way wanted to make sure everybody was picked up. It's like going against Daryl Green. I mean, he's not only fast he's the fastest man in the nfl but he's so quick and and as as aikman said we're talking to troy aikman he says you know he says i look over there at the guy covering and he says you never see much air between the jerseys <laughs> their numbers are always close together second and seven beckman in motion who we'll play action high wobbly fast had a man Open, but double coverage with the tie and the ball got there. Henry Marshall, the intended receiver, Daryl Green, knocked it away. Hey, Bear, and out of the pocket. Tennis for Clark, defended by Daryl Green. You can see he's he's going man to man here. He has real good coverage. He dives in front for the interception. I think he just falls on his stomach and then rolls over the ball. I'll tell you, that's been a heck of a matchup over there between Dennis Gentry and Daryl Green. Gentry has caught one pass for 12 yards, and he and Green have been going after it all day. Here's Ferragamo back to throw again. Shooting for Preston Denard incomplete. Daryl Green on the coverage. Figure somehow to stay away. Tanner. And the pass is incomplete, intended for Ricky Natil, covered by Daryl Green. In the series following Riggins' touchdown, Redskins corner Daryl Green made two outstanding plays. The second one forcing another 49ers punt, their seventh of the afternoon. Steps up and throws. And Marcus Cook says he was drawn off. There is no play here. <laughs> what an interception by Green. It'll make a few highlight films, but it doesn't mean a thing. When you're hot, you're hot. Let's take a look at that Green play again. We can look at offsides anytime. Check that out. <laughs> 31 years old, he still has fun doing it. Well, they timed him in the 40, and he was in the four threes again this year, and he won for the fourth time the NFL's fastest man contest. Remarkable athlete. Well, but can he do that left-handed? That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Wilson again flushed out of the pocket. Incomplete. Picked off by Darrell Green, but he was out of bounds. First down, Aikman will throw again. Goes for Urban. Incomplete. Jaworski from the shotgun. He's got time. That's Michael Quick. There are no flags. Daryl Green, a world-class sprinter, covered Michael Quick. Mike Quick is here. Now watch it. He's going to be tight, bump and run coverage. They're up there. He has safety help behind him. Comes off. They try to get him picked right there. They don't get the pick executed, which is not a legal play. So I guess it wasn't a pick, right, Tom? Montana out of the pocket. Batted away by Daryl. Solomon. That's the thing that makes Daryl Green a great cornerback. It's also the thing that gets Daryl Green in trouble. When Daryl Green, number 28, sees something, he sees that move, now he's going to 
can take an angle to get in front of it. Now that's the type of thing. He'll either pick that off and take it in the end zone. And the first pass is caught out of the back. Andre Reed makes the reception. Short gain to the 16-17 yard line. Darrell Green makes the stop. of Duper, covered by Daryl Green. Daryl Green, you talk about some perfect coverage. Daryl Green was all over Duper. On the top of the screen, watch this. Here comes Green, inside, here comes Duper. Look at this coverage. There's just no way to catch that ball. Green is there. Daryl Green, so talented. Yeah, I'll tell you one, watch him on this play. He's been guarding Anthony Carter all day. Here he is on third down, he takes Leo Lewis. Ferragamo goes back to throw. Going for Ellard. And guess who's chasing? Number 28, Daryl Green. I think part of that idea was a good idea, Pat. Coming out here to the left side. This is the shadow side. It's damp right here. It's where they're slipping. So that part of the idea is good. But getting Daryl Green on your guy that you're trying to throw to, I don't think that's too good. Then goes to the punt return, then goes over to the telephone. The old triple dipper. I think everybody would have bet you, even Joe Gibbs, that he wouldn't play this week. It's only their second game on grass all year. Going for Green. The other Green was there with him, and there's no penalty call. Darrell Green was right back there with him, step for step. Here he is on third down. He takes Leo Lewis. But well, watch that play. I mean, he's on him like a blanket. An alert theft by number 28, Daryl Green, gave the Redskins a 21-17 halftime advantage. Side picked off at the 33-yard line. Here comes a return by Daryl Green. He's back to the 10. Cuts to the... Makowski going deep for F, and the pass is incomplete, and no interception as Darrell Green caught the ball, but he was out of bounds when he made the catch. Oh, and it was a great catch, too. Looked a lot like Art Monk last week uh, for the when he caught that great touchdown pass, but look at that, full extension. I mean, that's, that's an interception. He was in bounds when he came down. Take one more look at it. Makowski going deep to F, and uh, Green is there. Yeah, oh, that's awful close. He must have come right down on the out-of-bounds line. But if they think that maybe his knees come down first, then it's an interception. There's one knee. There's. I got to believe that's an interception. It would appear that way. It was inconclusive. So I just like to see great catches, you know. I don't care if it's uh, conclusive or not. I thought that was a great catch. Get loose from a couple. He's always full of life and a fun guy. Watch him here on Bobby Johnson. You see, he's about a step or two behind him, but watch him catch up when the ball's in the air. There it is, and he just dives out, just gets that right hook. Back to play now, third and 13. Testaverde deep into double coverage, knocked away by Daryl Green. It'll be fourth down. You can always, if you want to be complimented by the Washington Redskins, you always want to know if you're a wide receiver who's covering you. If Green is covering you, it's because they feel like you're the best receiver on your team. Jack Mitchell to Herman Moore on fourth and nine. He has it. No, he doesn't have it. After measurement, it's short. Some good defense time. Well, outstanding play by both players. You see Moore hook up on the curl. You see Green with the great coverage. And look at him. He goes after the football. At the Redskins, 14, second down and 10. Play action. Into the end zone. Incomplete. Almost intercepted. Defensive play may have been by Carlos Carson. Knocking it away from Daryl Green. It's a big play there. 
Manley's right end spot. Redskins come on the blitz. Marino got it out. Incomplete. Daryl Green right with Duper. Attached to his uniform. Richie Pettibone, the defensive coach, likes to challenge people. Marino throws this one away. They were trying to get the ball to Duper again, and Daryl Green was stuck right to him. Doesn't come out. Marino to Duper. Daryl Green. Fine job. Got inside, reached out the right hand, and batted the ball away. Now, Green, good coverage on this play. Two-time pro ball player out of the Frank Minifield School. Mini being the operative uh, prefix, I think. Little guy, and he gets to the ball. Johnson, the man in motion. Marino looking that way. Daryl Green that time. And Duke covered perfectly, even had inside position. The end zone. from Texas A&I ran him down. Yeah, he's definitely beat on this play. Look at him. He's got like two or three steps on him. Yeah. You Balls can't coach the this. This is one thing you can't coach is speed. I just look for the day when he's covering Ron Brown. Dilfer steps up, fires, and it is intercepted. Darrell Green with the interception. He's down at the 34. The great veteran leader of the Washington Redskins comes up with a pick just as he did last week. It could happen to a better guy with all the speed. And he wondered, he says, Coach, the people still respect me. He was wondering, wasn't he? Yep. He says, do, do the other people still think I can play? He is one of the greats. Still going strong at 38. He had Bertie Manuel all day. He cuts underneath the route. He takes the chance underneath it, and he takes the pass. And he's ended the season for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Wow. That wraps it up here at Jack Kent Cook Stadium. The Washington Redskins. Harold Green for the Redskins always takes the toughest receiver. So then away from where Daryl Green plays, then they can run their double. So that's the problem that you have passing. If you pass to Daryl Green, you're passing against one of the best defenders in the league. And if you throw away from him like they did that time, you're throwing into some form of double cover. It helps to have that reputation. Daryl causes a lot more mental anguish than physical damage. Being that I'm a tough guy, and I'm not supposed to be a tough guy, a 100-pound guy, you know, under uh, 5 feet 8 and not big enough to play. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, man. <laughs> You're welcome, Green. What I call be prepared for that right now moment. Okay, son, uh, what's your name? A uh, uh, Green. Okay, so you're up right now. And in that right now moment, you need to be ready to perform. Two, two, old buddy. Make you run fast. Thrill. I remember jumping up and running down the field. I'm thinking I'm going to the Super Bowl. 